Over the weekend, Oregon State University conducted random tests of homeowners in Hermiston, looking for those with the coronavirus. Of the 30 neighborhoods picked... So our results indicate that the virus is really widespread in Hermiston. Ben DL is an assistant professor at OSU and the co-director of the TRACE, or Team-Based Rapid Assessment of Community-Level Coronavirus Epidemics Project. Volunteers went to Hermiston and went door to door asking people to take a test. There was a lot of asymptomatic infection. Um, so the combination of high levels of, of the virus wide, uh, with it being widespread and a lot of asymptomatic um, infections, that combination is particularly uh, concerning um, because it indicates a lot of potential for others in Hermiston to, to, to get infected. In fact, they predict 17% of the city of Hermiston had the coronavirus. That's about 3,000 people. Umatilla County has more COVID-19 cases per capita than any other Oregon county. And because of the continual rise in cases, the county was pushed back from phase two all the way down to the baseline stay-at-home order. The county will be reevaluated in three weeks. It's a pretty high bar that we're going to have to meet in three weeks. And um, while I'd like to be optimistic, uh, I don't know if we can get there in three weeks. Morrow County sits to the west of Umatilla and was moved from phase two down to phase one. Karen Purcell owns the Sunrise at Boardman Cafe. Phase one means less diners in her restaurant. She closed for two months in March and April and doesn't want to have to think about closing again. I don't want to stress over it. I've just got to have faith that it's going to pass and we're going to just keep chugging along and have positive attitude. Governor Brown added three more counties to the state's watch list. They include Multnomah, Hood River and Marion counties. There are now 10 counties on that list. I'm Devin Haskins, KGW News.